Generic greetings and welcome back once again to Prison Architect, where in the previous episode we begun some planning on the left hand side here and I fussed far too much and far too long over the entranceway which has now been changed which I'll run through in a moment and we did actually place some foundation which as we can see is now all complete which is pretty good and we also need to uh, actually move that door because well <laughs> to be fair we have actually changed the design a little bit. Either way we managed to get outlined the rough idea of what we want to accomplish which is a medium and low risk transfer area which will come from the main body of the high risk island and in order to do that obviously we need to go through all of the standard stuff and make sure that this has a lot more amenities than here so they have a reason to transfer over but as you can see we have this pretty much planned out uh, hopefully correctly we have the main entrance way down the bottom which has actually been changed so I'll run through this now now I realized that when I was trying to plan all of this what the issue was essentially was we were working within our own limitations realizing that actually we don't need to like have these in a particular I was trying to fit them up here and it just didn't work either way what I've done is move the two helipads down to the bottom we have then added in two areas for garbage and for the delivery area we obviously have the main checkpoint where you come in a security room and then three ways out of it the bottom left will be for visitors only that will come down here and then up into these rooms which I think I'm probably going to expand into that size I think it would be just a little bit better we could make a one-way system but I don't think so anyway something like that let me just put the door back in for completeness the other way is for the prisoners who will come up and then into the main facility and obviously that also serves as an entrance way for all of these buildings whatever they happen to be things like the shop and parole and library that sort of thing we also have visitation there too and then we've got this top one which is going to be for staff only so it'll be staff room staff canteen then we have to the right of that the kitchen and then to the north of that we have the canteen which has this separate area which will have toilets in now this is oversized definitely for the amount of prisoners that we're going to have but naturally we want to have it quite large to increase the grading and also to put all of those extra things in either way let's go over to these doors and we will lock them open because there's no reason not to same for that one there and what I want to do is go to walls and doors and then over to the wall rusty and I want to place the wall all the way around the outside just to make this thing secure temporarily just in case we want to actually transfer prisoners earlier and we don't have everything completed I'd rather at least have the walls in <laughs> actually what I might do I might actually build this section here although I don't know if we'll be able to build it all. Hmm, we'd have to build at least that and then this bit. Is that possible? I think it is, but you know what? Let's just place the let's just place the walls in so we know that this will be as I said secure that is the original intention of doing this in the first place so there we go let's go over to doors and then to a large jail door which will go in here and that is a potential tunnel and it's probably fake but quite frankly let's go to shake down all sectors because we haven't done a shakedown I realize that obviously building all of this in the expansion it takes up a lot of time and this, the management side of it we do sort of like let it fall by the wayside sadly and there's a legendary prisoner which we should certainly move over to our super max area and while they're all here I'm actually going to go through and double check to see if there's any any traits that we should be fussing about although it's pretty difficult when a lot of the tags overhang the other ones so I'm probably going to give up on that because more likely more, most likely I'll uh, I'll actually miss them there that would be cop killer I think if we zoom in yeah cop killer and the rest is pretty much fine anyway as you can see, in terms of prisoners, we have our legendary area up the top, which is legendary and then not so legendary for some of them. Let's just see if this guy wants to become a confidential informant. No, they do not. We have a total amount of prisoners equal to 100, which is 83 maximum security, 1 protective custody, 1 death row, and 15 in supermax. And I'm wondering why the other death row inmate has not gone through this death row... Um, was it the certification process? Hang on, it's called Death Row Appeal. Well, they are actually, they are actually, oh, it's actually going to happen. And it's happening now as as we 
discuss it, we can see that it is actually happening. So we have Davies there, who is going through this process. I think the parole, the death row appeals lawyer is only just arriving. There you go, there's the appeals magistrate, who's just made it in for, <laughs> for this. And, oh, we've actually seen now that Davies has failed it. And they are now on the 8% for the death row the death row cutoff which means we could go through that process okay we'll see what happens there let me lock open these doors because obviously the workers are having to crack on and do all of that in terms of our grading we haven't had a look reoffending rate is 14 percent 83 prisoners have been released punishment is okay at six reform is very low we would have expected that security on one out of well possible minus five to plus five and health minus two because Quite frankly, getting above zero is just a problem. Prison value, over half a million. Daily profits are very low at 3,701. Staff fatality is 36. I actually thought it would have been higher than that. Maximum capacity at the moment is 125. Deaths in custody is 41. Prisoners escape none, which I'm happy about. And paroled early, re-offended. Uh, we've got 63 who've been paroled. 4% were re-offended on that one. And prisoners executed is zero. And, well, that may change... Uh, shortly. Anyway, we can see that we have this getting built, which is fine. What I'm going to do is pause it for a moment, go over to our objects, down to the bottom, and helipad, and I want to place in... I'm going to place in two helipads, because that's where they're going to go. Also, I want to build... Was it around here? Uh, yes, it was around here. We'll have to go over to flooring, landscaping, and then sand, like so, and then water shallow. It's already been put in. Just so they can walk around the outside, you understand. Right. That is fairly okay. So I'm I'm pretty happy with what we've got here. And as always, this is not necessarily the final design. Things could change. Things probably will change. It's all an iterative process. And we like to show the, uh, show the stages and the way of thinking. And not hide the crimes, as it were. So, anyway, that... Once that's built, we'll have to make sure those are set up quick. Let's go over to our hmm, deliveries, which we'll place in here. Garbage won't be as large, but it'll go there. Obviously, we'll put all of the other stuff in there. And let's just see. Oh yeah, it's it's taking over there. We'll remove them links once we've got these two helipads put in. But obviously it's taking quite a while for them to bring the helipads because I don't know where they're bringing them from. Uh, let's have a quick look. Objects, helipads. Well, they still says getting made. Now it's not getting made. There we go. So one person has been assigned to it. Ironically, I think they've just been near the other helipad. And they're coming through the kitchen on the other side. Through the canteen. Through the main body of the prison there. Into the security room. Through one door. Through another door. Walking across the <laughs> that section there. And job done. And now we have uh, this already been built. And they're dropping in some deliveries there. Fine, let's go over to deliveries and remove all of that. We don't want any of that set up. Um, right, let's set there and there and there and there. That is the procedure for that one. It says these are connected to that, but I don't want them to be. Can I not just remove them? It's linking to there. No, nothing much I can really do about that. Either way, we're turning off all of those. We're happy to bring in deliveries and outbound items, yes, but it's mainly for, as I said, the it's mainly for the building materials over here. And it looks like it's kicking off. We see Sean Clark once again, who's currently fighting on the top here. And Whoa, good grief, because it was on max speed. You can see what's happened is they've immediately... Wow, they're running really, really quick. And through here, let's immediately get some staff there. And I don't know. Did you see that? They just said no. Basically, they went, no, we're not going to stop him. <laughs> like, you let him go through. I might 
have to place some more armed guards around there. Hmm. We'll see about that one. But what we are going to do, Matt Davies, schedule execution. Execution. So, execution initiated. Initial prison-wide lockdown complete. Test the facility. It's going through the testing process. Tested and done. Assemble execution detail, which is of the chief and I believe the warden. And we'll escort the witness as well. And oh, there's also their council, religious council there. So it takes some time. Execution witness, witness, yeah, witness, yeah. So they're going to come along here. We should probably add in like another way to go that way. Although to be fair, this is an area I would have thought I wouldn't have thought they'd come because the whole point is we put the helipad in. <laughs> to specifically allow this. But there we go, there's the... I'm just trying to zoom in a bit. can hardly see it because of how dark it is. But there is guards, chief, the witnesses, religious council, as well as the warden. I'm going to go obviously through reception, through the metal detector, through the security room, all oh, my door openers there. On the green mile. And some chairs. Escort prisoner to the room. Be brought to the chair. There we go. So, Prisoner Davies, prisoner number 2004588, scheduled execution, authorise. And there we go. Dismiss staff and witnesses. Take some time. What was that? Pretty much dead on five? in the morning I think and then we'll get our final report the mandate execution of Matt Davies was carried out at 4.54 scheduled by electric chair in the presence of the witnesses the standard compensation for of 10,000 was awarded for the institution on their part in the process and there they are Their convictions were murder, rape, rape, armed robbery, attempted murder and torture. We've got a couple of people in the main facility here that have passed their um, their parole or reform, whatever it's, a, whatever it's called. I'm also going to forget the name of it. Uh, Death Row Appeal that have multiple, multiple more crimes than, than Matt. So I don't know why that's moved over. It's always questionable but there we are the first execution in the facility always a strange moment that one anyway uh we'll max speed that out let's go ahead and continue on with the building here we can see we've got some cabbages come by helicopter because that's the most efficient way of bringing cabbages as we all know and let's work on and what's this one bringing that is <laughs> loads of food which is now going to be brought across there and uh, it's just a nightmare now. Okay, I might have to redo some of this. See, this one here, that one's set up correctly, that helipad. But I don't know why those ones are set up. Although I might be able to alter that. Um, so this has to go to those. Nope, that just removed it. And say, uh, no. Remove. And remove, yes. And remove, yes. 
Okay, that's better. That should function now. I believe. Oh, we've got a little bit of a fight going on here. Alex Lacey, I think. Or was it in here? I think that guy's been punched through the wall. So yeah, it's been in, in this area for some reason. Anyway, we have a couple of prisoners arriving shortly. Let's go ahead and have a quick look at our informants here. We can see we have an unknown trait there. So what I'm going to do is activate one of our people here. And what on earth? <laughs> that prisoner's been released, but they're getting released via that helicopter because it's... Because I don't know. Because, yes, reasons. Okay, back over to intelligence informants and we know of traits but we don't know of anyone that is in danger and is that person also released why did they get there do you see that they managed to come in this room it is staff only and we are going to change it to all access only anywhere same as these should be access only although i don't really need to change it and this has been altered as well that's just Really strange. I know I knew this one was, but why those were changed, I don't know. Anyway. That's pretty much all okay. Let me just set once again these to access only. And these to access only. That one's stuff only anyway, and there's loads of visitors <laughs> that are now coming through and onto that. And I don't know why that is the case, but there's not much I can do to turn it off. So yeah. Well I've already got I've already got some of these. See, they're only set up to there, not to anywhere else. And the transport, outbound. Garbage and exports. But there's no option to turn off. Oh, out inbound civilians. But there's no outbound civilian option. Because... I'm trying to think of a reason why, but I can't think of it. Anyway, there is no reason why. Let's go over to our cloning. Uh, no. I was going to go to say, let's go to cloning and clone the cell block, but as I haven't actually made the cell, a model cell, we can't do that. So let's go ahead and build that thing. So over to our walls and doors, and then to the wall rusty, and we're going to build the one at top first. So it will be something like that, and then obviously this will have to... Ah, well, I'm going to have to change this to medium sec, which I cannot change it to medium sec. Is that because... Oh, now what? Uh, we've just discovered that one of our teachers bringing in inmates class has been smuggling huge amounts of contraband. Okay, so we'll have to do a shakedown. Fine, fine, fine. Okay, so deployment medsec, that cannot be changed. I'm guessing because of these doors, so I'm going to have to close them. Oh, no, no, it's not that. It is not that. It is because of that. So we'll fix that first. I'm also going to... Go to objects, scroll right to the bottom here, dismantle, and I want to dismantle all of those pallets. We don't want the pallets in anymore. I think we've got to a stage now where everything is pretty much working as intended, so that's fine. All of the infrastructure from going to one island and the other is in, so that's fine. So you can see the building up the top there, which is now in. They're going to do this wall. All of this is without power, which we do need to build. So let's go ahead and do that. So over to more wall rusty, and we're going to build that. So this will be our power block, which, to be fair, we only really need access to... Um, as a staff door around this side, I guess. Like that. I'm going to place two just so it generates that room. But there you are. And now we should be able to set the deployment on this, and we cannot. Is it because these doors are locked open? I would have thought that wouldn't have affected it. And there's been a death. Oh. Looks like Tom Holt has been killed. Killed by Amgard with shotgun. Right. As people did mention, some of these armed guards around here need a, need a pay rise. Look at that. That's been a big big fight there. Jail doors off. Beds broken. Blood on the floor. Toilets smashed. Showers broken. Yeah, a lot. Anyway, shake down all sectors. Need to get that sorted. And now we can set that to medium sec. And I don't think forcing these open will alter it. It shouldn't. Huh. Looks like it. 
It shouldn't alter it because these are locked open. I don't know why. Anyway, let's continue on with these cells. So, I don't want to designate them as cells. As soon as I do that, then there's going to be loads of people wanting to come in. So, we're not going to do that. Let's go ahead then and... Uh, without designating it as cells, though, we're going to have some problems. Because then we won't get all this highlighted and I want to do the grading. Okay. You know what? I'll wait until this is built. And look at that. We've got all these boxes here. You have to move them to storage. But I need to clear this. Make sure they can't walk across. But I don't want to remove the... I was going to say remove the ocean and remove the water. I don't want to make it to deep water because then these boxes will be almost constantly stranded there. Which is something I definitely don't want. Um... Still got some problems up the top there. Still waiting for things to be sorted. Gonna stop this shakedown because we just don't have the time now. Because it's, you know, it's ten o'clock. A couple more inmates here. Let's have a quick look. Unknown traits. So, potentially an issue. We'll wait for the time to finish and then we'll activate Dan once again. A reliable source of information is Dan. So it's just one trait. And I was gonna say what why is that person there? And then no one being targeted. Okay, that's fine. So finishing off on the left. And now it's fighting around here. That's Benjamin Taylor, another legendary prisoner. Yeah. If it wasn't for the armed guards there, we'd have a serious amount of problems. Hire another dog handler. And we don't need to hire, hire any other guards. Smelling a couple of tunnels, but I don't think there's anything of great interest around there. Back over the top here, and they're just waiting to finish the rest of this off. Then we'll be able to run the power. The power obviously will come down and across. We could bring the pipe work under the water. Like we could run a large pipe around. Is that something I want to do? Not really. So we're probably going to have to build probably off here and have a an area for the water pump, which is a 3x3. Three three. So I'll do that. So over to Foundations, more uh, wall rusty, and then we'll build that. And then it should delete that wall, but put the wall in there. We'll dismantle that, and that section of wall will be deleted too. And this is where we'll have two power systems. We might get away with one, but with these two workshops that'll be here, probably not. So I don't really want to take... I really don't, don't really want to take the risk. There we go. They're now walking through the water there, so we need to sort that out. Flooring, landscaping, water, large. And we're going to add in that. And similar here, because we really don't want them walking across because it's like sort of pointless to have the connections otherwise but there you are okay so that's getting sorted we'll put in the power the problem with having the power is when i'm building this i know what's going to happen is we'll have to run the power this way and along and then when we put the other power in it'll be wrong and we'll have to redo it but i guess we'll cross that bridge if and when we come to it lots of deliveries on here like the stacks of staff meals. I'm hoping that's not being affected. No. Prisoners are happy in the job and they are on a break. Apart from that guy that's actually currently stuck in the wall. What is... What has occurred there? There we go. <laughs> they're, they're now moving. Right. This has now been built. So over to utilities. Water pump. Water pump can go in the corner there. Power station in there. Followed by capacitors all the way around the outside. Not going to build any more yet. And then this will... Hmm. As I said, this will almost certainly have to be redone at some point. But I'm going to run it into there. And we'll come down here. And that will power all of that up. Water pipe. I'm tempted to run the water pipe in the centre. But we're probably going to just run it 
across and down. And there we go. Job done. In terms of heating, I honestly haven't really planned for it in here. They're not going to have their own radiator in the room. That would be a bit over the top. But I also haven't placed the radiators on the design. Um, it did occur to me when I was building it, but I was more focused on trying to get the bottom bit right. So it was a case of priorities. Obviously, we'll have to do something in terms of the heating. We'll have to sort it out, but we'll see how we get on. So over here, then, we'll have to well get the power in. That's all planned. You can see the time it takes is... That's quite a lot of time to get even a tiny bit built. Simply because of the distance to travel and the bottleneck that we uh, have with these transport ferries. You know, it's it's not that they can't carry a lot. You know, they have a decent capacity, I think. of I think they have eight capacity, maybe more. But it's the, it, the, the time it takes to depart. You know, they can't freely go across things. And also, they're having to go through security checkpoints where we haven't got automatic door openers. So that adds on that little bit extra time there. And in fact, you can see that they were having problems building some of this, which was interesting. So in terms of cash, we're not doing too bad. 13,000, but only getting three per day. So it's going to be a little bit of a problem. In terms of valuation, we own 60% of our prison. We could sell some shares, and then we'd own 50%. And I don't know if you can sell any more. I'm guessing you can, but selling that amount there will hopefully give us enough to build a lot of what we need to build around here. So that's pretty good. This area, obviously, was always going to all need to be... All of this... It's easy if you're open planning... All of this is going to be indoors, around here, that is going to be a door as well. So basically all of this bottom bit here is going to be a building, all the building up here and then up the top there as well. So it's going to take a bit of time. I'm just looking down there, yep, prisoners, I was going to say, um, sorry, the workers can get access to this. Perhaps removing that was a bad plan, because now they're having to go all the way around the outside. It matters they they were walking towards that, and then they suddenly decided, no, I, I, I don't want to do it. <laughs> and they just turned around, which was, well, that's a curious decision. Like I said, deployment is, it's not, it's not allowing me to set any, any sec up on that, and I don't know why. Could be because I've locked these on, but then again, I don't think so. But each one of these, I, ah, will we be able to clone it? I don't think we can. Now that I think about it, because we've got the lights in and we haven't, because we auto lit it. Okay, what I'll do then is build it like this. so. It won't take too long, but the workers are obviously quite stressed out. They've got enough on their plates, and indeed they're having some problems trying to pathfind towards some of these places as well. So I'm just going to double check. We have. It's one and then, okay, so it's two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, and so forth. Okay, and this is the medium cell block, so it's not as graded as the other one's going to be, but it should be okay. Certainly better than what they've got on the other side. I am still going with wall rusty. I know people have mentioned about changing it to something a bit more lavish. The problem is that... I like the idea of this being, you know, very weather-worn and beaten, which is the whole the whole premise of these islands. So that's why we went and did that. Looks like the water pump is without power, which makes perfect sense. I will place that in there and place another couple of capacitors in, and that will then connect them up. In fact, while we're here, let's just get the rest of it. Let's get all the capacitors placed. It matters not. That should do the job quite nicely. We can see that we now have light in here, which is excellent. That's what we want to see. Um, I am going to leave that like that. Mm. Curious. Where is this we can? Staff only for that. And there we go. That's now a room. <laughs> Okay, uh, one death here. Uh, what's happened? One death. Sean Clark killed by arm guard with shotgun. I know people say, "Oh, keep the, turn the friendly, uh, turn the free fire off." Well, 
whole point is that's that's this place is for these prisoners um if we don't have it off uh, if we don't have it on we've seen in previous episodes where that prisoner may you know kill two or three guards or all the prisoners so actually it's it's sort of like there's no real right or wrong answer but that one produces less bodies so there you are. Uh, we do have a new death row inmate, I've noticed. Uh, Paul Sexton. Let's have a quick look. Paul Sexton, age 60, prisoner number 271170092. Sentenced for 64 years, which is murder, armed robbery, rape, and grievous bodily harm. Likelihood of clemency is 47%. So there we are. So this is now set up correctly. I'm guessing that... The reason why I move changing these doors alters the alters this is because if that was set to lock open, we'd then be able to change the full thing. I think. But foundations more wall rusty, and how we're going to do this? That's going to remove a big chunk of wall. I don't really have much choice. And this is a lot of foundation to place in one go. Okay, there's a lot of work for the workers to do. So I think we'll leave it there. That is... That's been a nice bit of building, that. I'm glad we've fixed this entrance where we've got the logistics in and you can see the helicopters are bringing in the building supplies which is good i'm going to actually hire some more workers simply because they've got more to do and they've got more places to traverse also i think the same can be said for janitors and another couple of gardeners because why not and this will be probably a nice grassy area but haven't fully decided. Either way, we now have power and water on this island. We have the big building for the medium risk prisoners, followed by a huge amount of foundation to be placed, which obviously is getting done now. And I'm going to really have to change that door to lock open, because otherwise they're just never going to build it in time. Anyway, there we go. We'll leave it there. Next episode, we will crack on and hopefully I'd get, you know, the bare minimum done here, security room, some of the certainly... I think a basic kitchen and canteen and such, just to start getting the guards and other staff on the island and not have to travel to the opposite end of the continent in order to get a sandwich, which would, you know... And people keep getting stuck in walls. Hmm. It's very difficult not to be disheartened and, quite frankly, overwhelmed with... <laughs> infuriating anger and why things like that are still in here and why they're being added we've had these problems anyway so leaving it there next episode we will continue on with the building maybe even put a yard in we'll have to see how we go on either way i hope you have enjoyed the episode and the series thus far comments in the comments thanks very much for watching take care and generic partings <laughs>